well, I, I have done the sports since I was a kid. You know, I started in these little uh, lessons for the kids to learn swimming. Like my parents didn't know how to swim and they wanted my sister and me to have this um, possibility. So if we went to like to the beach or to hotels in holidays and we had an emergency, we could know how to <laughs> keep ourselves safe because they couldn't help us. Um, so I started like this, then I started racing with 10 years in athletics, in para-athletics. It's an experience that has changed my life for the better. My father, uh, now he's retired, but he, he was, worked as a doctor, he was an anesthesiologist. So since I was a kid, I saw how medicine could help the people to have a better life quality. So um, when I finished the school, I started, studied physiotherapy because everybody was saying that medicine was going to be too much because of uh, being a blind person. But my head was keeping like, I wanted to have a try on medicine and I, uh, when I was 21 years old, I started in Santiago de Compostela University, did my six years uh, university studies, then my specialty in physical medicine and rehabilitation. And I feel like very pleased to, to take in this risk and this choice uh, because um, it's something that makes me feel complete. Um, I've been the first pe blind person in Spain to become a doctor the first person who has um, this disability since birth. The other half of my life apart from sports and it has helped me also to be a better athlete, I think. In 2010, I found a para triathlon by chance, like uh, uh, surfing on the internet, looking for other things I found in the National Federation that um, this um, sport existed for people with disabilities and then I started there and this was the sport who has, which has taken me to the best um, sports career, um, good results. But um, now I have been back to parathletics because the most thing I like is running and it's good to be back to the origin. So I will never be able to give back to sports what it has given to me. Like I have uh, albinism, which is a condition that physically makes you different. So sometimes I got to new places and for me it was difficult to get to know new people. And with sports, uh, everything was much easier. You know, in sports you feel equal to others. Um, people are like very open-minded to everything. And it's like the best choice to, to find equality in life. With all the pandemic, uh, like there were not crowd, uh, our coaches were not there, our fa families either, and all the training for Tokyo was uh, hard. Uh, you didn't know what would happen the next day, uh, many races cancelled, so bringing the sport back together once again was great, and winning, it was uh, so special for me, yeah. I find it strange to find my myself a role model, because, you know, for me it's like the daily work, and. Um, it's the normal things that I do that I have been doing since I, since I was a kid, that it is fighting for my dreams, so for me this is normal. Um, but I am pleased that um, my example can be good for, for other people, special, especially for, for kids, for the new generations. And until this moment, well, I, I have uh, been working doing different kind of um, talks in schools, in places, but now after winning the goal in Tokyo, I feel that I have to be, I have to give something back to sports and in my city. So I have, I am going to start an um, athletics club with one of my sponsors and we are also starting an um, athletics school for kids with disabilities. And this is something that um, it's um, making me feel like very excited for the future uh, to be involved in this kind of project. And um, well, um, it's good, it's good. It's, um, sports uh, just not bring you the competition, they bring you much, much more like getting to know um, other realities and, and this is what sports is about most, I think. <laughs>